one of my personal favorite categories, so I feel very honored to be presenting this one. To perform alone is to work without the safety net of fellow actors. It also means no arguing about billing or who gets the best dressing room. <laughs> Off-Broadway doesn't have great dressing rooms. <laughs> I've literally had one in a hallway with a curtain. Bonnie Milligan can contest to that. <laughs> and the nominees for Outstanding Solo Show are... Feeding the Dragon. Fleabag. Girls and Boys. Mike Birbiglia's The New One. My Life on a Diet. And the recipient of the 2019 Lucille Lortel Award for Outstanding Solo Show goes to... Fleabag. This is so embarrassing because, quite obviously, I am not Phoebe Waller-Bridge. <laughs> Um, my name is Kevin Emmerich, and on behalf of everyone at Annapurna, including Megan Ellison and Sue Nagel and Sky Optican, um, it was our privilege to produce Fleabag Off-Broadway this season. Um, our thanks go out to uh, Mark Subius and Liz Furs, um, and everyone at AKA, Chris Bono, Bono Brian Brown, um, and DRTM, Adam Hess, and Megan Detmer and Kyle Provost, without whom we would be completely lost. Um, Phoebe texted me earlier today and asked that we both agreed that I am a very below standard understudy for her. Um, but she asked that I might read this to you. So just imagine someone a little bit taller than me with a lot of talent. And she says, um, wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much for this huge honor. When we first created Fleabag, it was the tiniest little pipe dream that we might be able to bring it to New York City one day. Uh, so for us now to be accepting this Lortel Award through an American producer is beyond joyous. Um, Huge thanks to the Soho Playhouse for giving us a home, to Kevin, Mark Subius, Francesca Moody, B. Carazzini, Adam Hess, Megan Detmer, Mac Whiting, Tor Ramada, Gina Schur, Ian Denio, Sue Nagel, Sky Optican, Megan Ellison, and everyone at Annapurna for making this possible. I'm honored to have been counted amongst these incredible nominees. It can be a very lonely gig being up there, wanging on for ages on one's own. So here's to Mike, and to Carrie, and Renee, and Sharon, and also all your stage managers for keeping you company every night. My stage manager is Charlotte McBurdy, who's an absolute boss, and that's true. Um, it's a two-person show, really, with how many cues she has to conduct. So this is shared with her, and of course, our amazing director, Vicki Jones. Thank you all for making incredible plays, and thank you, New York, for loving theater so much. Have an incredible night.